A Phoenix woman says she was the victim of mail theft until the thief saw what she was stealing and from whom. That happened. What happened next is bizarre, with the would-be thief returning the mail and leaving a note to the woman. Yeah, Team 12's William Pitts has more from North Phoenix. Ashley Wolverton never expected someone to steal her son's passport. She certainly never expected that same person to return it with an apology. 7.45, two days after Christmas. Hi. I got your mail. A woman she's never met shows up with Ashley Wolverton's mail. Oh, yeah. Thank you. You did. And when I went to open it, it opened just like that. One of those, her son's old passport, coming back from the renewal office. And I saw a letter inside with my son's passport. The letter inside, an apology and a warning. I start to read the letter. I My mouth got so big, and I'm like, what? It starts out to whoever you are. You are lucky today that I checked your mailbox. Uh, when I saw passport, I damn near leaped with joy. Then when I opened it and saw your adorable little man, my heart sank. This photo of Ashley's son Corbin, years old, looking back at her from the passport. I know, I know, you're rolling your eyes at the criminal with a conscience. The letter goes on to say, I know a lot of people who would be happy to make money stealing Corbin's identity. After all, they'd get 18 years of free credit before anyone noticed. Please do not let mail like this be sent to your mailbox. Get a P.O. box. Ashley doesn't know who the woman is or where she went. She wonders how many other mailboxes may have been hit, how many other identities might have been stolen. And just because the woman returned the passport doesn't mean she didn't keep a copy anyway. I'm still worried at the possibility that, you know, maybe she still did steal his information. Ashley called the postal inspector's office. It's a federal crime to tamper with someone's mail, even if it comes back to the owner, even if it comes with a note. Because you won't always get this lucky again. Please take my advice. Have a good night and a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Sincerely, me. We're in Phoenix, William Pitts, 12 News.